Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Recently, Microsoft has released several updates for Microsoft Power BI, and out of those, I have two favorite updates. One of them we are going to discuss in this video. Before this update, whenever you have to create one KPI card, you have to combine so many visualization into one, and that used to impact the performance of your Microsoft Power BI reports or dashboards. But now we have new KPI card visualization in Microsoft Power BI that we are going to discuss about this video. What is it, how to use it, how to combine it, everything you're gonna to get to know in this video. So if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video, and I'm gonna let you know everything about it. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create videos on Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure. So if you would like to learn more, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for our latest videos and updates. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get head over to my laptop. Before we proceed, there are certain prerequisites. You have to download the latest version of Microsoft Power BI, that is June 2023 one. After that, you have to go to the files and there you are gonna find options and settings. Under this, go to the options. And now you have to go to the preview tab. So over there in the preview tab, you have to turn on this feature. So right now you can see this is the preview features tab over here. At the last, you would see this new card visualization. If you would like to learn more, just click on this one and there's gonna pop up a new tab. Over here, you will find everything about this new create card visualization or new KPI card visualization. Over here, you can see that I have one data set that is AdventureWorks and second would be the financials one. Now coming to this data pane, over here, you can see that I have the different tables over here. And under that, I have created several different measures as well. For example, under the financial one, I have created these measures, which is my total sales. You can simply see that it's pretty simple. Then I have total profit, etc. But the one very important one is for the spark lines. I'm gonna let you know this at the end of this video that how you can create these spark lines as well inside that KPI card. So let me just switch to my new tab over here. We are gonna name it demo because I'm gonna demo it over there. So as soon as, you turn on this preview feature over here you would find that there's a new card visualization so which is going to be over here this is the new card visualization that we are going to use so let me simply click on this one now once you have this you don't need to combine multiple card visualization into this one you can simply drag and drop your multiple fields into this one Over here, you will find the different options that you can use over there. Now, we are gonna use them one by one and I'm gonna let you know how to use them. Before going over there, let's suppose you need to download certain icons or images, then you can visit this website. I'm gonna provide you the link in the description section. From there, you can download any of the icon for free. So first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to bring those icons into this one. Over here, I'm not being very much precise about the icons, but we are focusing on the functionalities over there. So in order to use the icons over here, what you have to do, you have to go over here under the card and then you will see the apply settings too. You want to apply to all or you want to apply to one. That is totally up to you. Now we are gonna go one by one to all the formatting options to customize this new card visualization. The very first is size and style. Over here you will find if you want to increase height, decrease width, etc. you can do that. There's nothing new. Now coming to the padding also, you have the customized options over here if you would like to do that. And then there's a background. So right now my background is white, but if I would like to change it, I can change it to any other background as well. For the time being, we are gonna use only white background. So let me just close these two. If you would like to use any visual headers, you can use it over here. So you need to just turn on. And if you don't want to use it, you can turn off as well. But let's say we are gonna use this one and I'm gonna round off this by five. So you can adjust it according to you how round off you would like to do. Now I have done five, so that's why there is a border around this one. Now select the visualization again and it's gonna pop up the format pane over here. Now we have the shadow option as well, so you can turn it on and under the shadow, you would get the different whether you want to go inside, outside, it totally up to you, I prefer outside. Also, you can adjust the position where you would like to do that. It's totally up to you and we are going to use the center over here. So these were some of the options under the formatting pane where you can format the size and style of this new card visualization. Now coming to the title, if you would like to use the title, you can use it and also you would get the different options over there. You would get the subtitle as well, you get the main title as well, etc. Now coming to the point shape. So what kind of shape do you want of this visualization? Well, you have multiple options over here. Rectangle, it's going to be the same. 
but if you would like to change you can change it to round one also you can adjust your rounds and not only that we have the another shape as well so that let me show you over there as well so what you can do you can simply copy and paste this one we are going to create a new one over here and in this one i want to do this to snip to one here we can arrange it according to our own requirement but furthermore if you want to customize it you can do that so now you have all the four options like how you would like to customize it left right bottom top the way you would like to do that so that's how you can change the shape of your new kpi cards These are the three different visualization right now. And I'm just showing the different functionalities that what we can change over here. Now, coming to the first one over here, what we can do after, you know, formatting the shape, we can change the callout values. So in under the callout, if you will see, there are the different options and you can change them individually. Over here right now, we are applying settings to all, but you can also apply the settings to individual KPIs over here. Over here, we can change the font size. For example, 45 is too big, so I'm going to make it 35. And also, I want it to Arial Black. That's what I would like to do. And here, you can also align them horizontally. So let me do this one. This is horizontal one. You can shift it them towards your right as well. Because we are going to bring one image over here. That's what I'm going to show you now. Now coming to the point display units, you can either use the auto unit and also if you would like to do the customized one, you can do it over here. So you can use this customized one. So here I'm going to use this one. So this is my customized settings over here. But since my size is too big, so it's not going to show you. So let me change it to 20. So if you have any other formatting code, you can apply over here. So this is really good. It was not available earlier. And not only that guys, if your values are coming blank, you can also display some text or something else which was not available earlier so over here you see show blank cells and you can say not available that's it that's all you need to do over here and if you would like to do further formatting you can create a measure and you can do the conditional formatting and here you can bring your field value and you can apply it over here these are the new options available over here which was not available previously that's how it's going to be very helpful for you now coming to the label part over here we can customize the labels as well and my labels are turned on which are these total sales total units sold and total profit now what i'm going to do first i'm going to rearrange them so now i have rearranged over here now let's click again on formatting option go to the formatting pane and what we are going to do we are going to apply the different formatting under the callout one so where we have already discussed about the values one then we have the label one because we are applying to all and also we have the labels to apply settings to any particular kpi like whether you want to apply only for total sales total unit or total profit and i'm going to change this color to let's say blue dark blue that's what i'm going to use and also if you would like to align baselines you can do that and the text one as well now you have also option to position your data labels whether you want to make them above or below you can do that and i personally prefer above but also you want to do that to below you can do that like this but let me keep it on above as well now spacing so you can increase the vertical spacing whether you want to do 15 let's say now there's a lots of gap between number and the data label over here so this was all about the call out now i'm going to collapse it again and we are going to go to the layout one in the layout, you can arrange them vertically, how you would like to arrange them. You want to arrange at the top, in the middle, or at the bottom. So totally up to you. Now we are going to keep it in the middle only. Now we have the different options over here as well. Whether you want to go the orientation horizontal, grid, or vertical, we are going to keep it horizontal only. But if you would like to do the vertical as well, you can do that. And then you have to again change it accordingly. So now you can see that it's vertical. So this was the all layout options available. Now we are going to go to the cards where we are going to use the image to the different settings. As I mentioned, we can apply settings to all or to individual. Now we are going to do one thing. We are going to bring the image on each of these one by one. So how to do that? Well, first of all, I'm going to go for the total sales. And here there is an option called image. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to the image. And here is my image. So I have two options here, image URL and image. Image URL we're going to discuss later, but first we are going to talk about the image only. 
so under the image you can browse your image i have this sales as my image and i can bring it over here similarly i'm gonna go for the other two as well and you can change the images according to you which one is better for you there is image fit option as well so i'm gonna use the fit not fill for all three one by one and here i'm gonna go for this one two and same i'm gonna go for the total size one which is the fit one although you can apply the all settings as well now you would notice that there is padding which is not highlighted and also under the borders you would see certain options are not highlighted why is that because these options are going to apply to all of the setting at once so how we can do that we will click on this all over here and then we can apply those settings like now you can see the padding is normal padding you can see narrow or you may also make it wide one according to you whichever fits in your case now also we can change these images where we would like to align them for that we have to go to this position one where we would like to do that left right or we would like to do bottom or top so according to your own preference you can align them so this is how you can use this position option over here there is a padding as well so you can use the padding but would you like to do that but before that let me do the position to the left only and now i have this padding so i can make it and my size size is really important that you should keep in mind if something is not appearing over here you have to check the size so size i'm going to give it 200 which is too big and now if i'll give it 100 let's see how it appears so this is the right size for me but still i can see that my numbers are not appearing correctly so what i can do i can go up again in the call out over here i have to change my value settings and here rather than this custom i'm gonna say auto now it looks much better so this is how you can change all of these different settings over here now coming to the background part i would like to change the background as well for my these different card values so let's go down and here you can see that first background uh, first the border color is this one so i'm gonna change it to something different and also i can change the width of my border which is two according to you you can also change it now coming to the filling color right now you can see it's saying white you can apply the conditional formatting as well but if you have any background image that you can also use over here now i can apply either the color fill which i can fill it over here something like this and it's gonna fill out the color but i would like to use one gradient image at the back end so how i can do that well guys if you would like to do something like that you have to first create an image that you can create inside your powerpoint or you can download directly from the google and here i can simply browse and gradient image and let's see so this is going to be my gradient image but it's looking a bit weird which you can also further customize according to your requirement let's see how to do that so this is how you can create your perfect kpi card visualization now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this and let's try to use the formatting pane whether that works for all other visualization or not so format and paste it over here and you can see that i can do this formatting as well so isn't it amazing we don't even have the images but it's bringing everything over there and same i'm gonna do for the last one so let me format them quickly so that we can start working on another part so guys i have done some of the quick formatting over here now you can see in the different visualization there is nothing new that i have done i have just changed the image from the background and i have changed the shape now what you can do you can select this one again go to the card and there is one very important feature that is accent bar or accent bar the way you would like to pronounce it just click on this and what it's gonna do it's gonna put a bar whether you want to put on the side left side right side or maybe on the top so we are gonna put on the left only and here we are gonna change the color to white and i'm gonna make the width to 10 so that's how it's gonna do but white is not appearing because my background is white so let me change it to some another color which would be green and also i can make the width to 25 so that's how you can change this accent bar color as well over here if you would like to and this is gonna be super helpful for you now coming to the last part of this customization of new card visualization that i would like to show that how you can use the spark lines I have already created certain measures that i'm going to show you first for profit this is the measure then there is a measure for units sold and similarly for the sales as well so these are the different measures that i have created but if you don't know how to create the spark lines using dax code then let me show you something as well so over here you would find this link on this website you can come on this page and here it's showing you how to create it so basically it's a ready to use code which you can customize for your own use now if you would like to use the area spark line you can use this one but if you want to use the gradient one 
then you can use this so i'm using the gradient one you can simply copy this code it's using the same financial sample data that we are using over there and you can just copy and customize it in our code what we are not going to use we are not going to use this part if condition that has value financial country and just remove this last two lines over here that's all you need to remove and then you can simply copy and paste it over there that's what i have done i'm going to provide you the link of this pbx file in the description section so you can use it for your own purpose as well now how to use this one once you get this once you create your measure first of all you have to change their data category so for example you have to select your measure that you have created and on the top under the table tools you would come this data category and you have to set it to image url that's the first point secondly you have to select your kpi card or the new card visualization and you have to go to the formatting pane click on more options and under cards you would come down and you would say okay apply to specific one for example our first is total sales and here you would come again to the image part which is over here and then go to image select the image type this time to image url once you select it over here now you have to click on this option once you select this option then there is a field value and field value we have to select over there so sales and this is my op axis spark line click ok and now you can see it's appearing over here but you have to also change the size certain times you won't be able to see it because of its size so let me now put it to 200 and now i can see that but where you would like to position it that's the important part so i want to position it at the bottom so that it looks cool over there so now you can see that i have my spark lines that are appearing over here if you would like to further customize it you want to change the color or anything that you can do for this spark line as well so let me do it for others too quickly now you can see that i have my spark lines are appearing on my individual kpi cards this was all about the new card visualization in microsoft power bi i'm going to provide you all the links in the description section please don't forget to check them out i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any concern question or even if you have any feedback please don't forget to let us know in the comment section also, if you have any requirement for Microsoft Power BI training, please don't forget to contact us. Till then, stay tuned with us for our next video. See you in the next video.